Even study degrees are not worth the paper they're printed on. As we wrap up another graduation season, I think it's very important that we look at the degrees that some students are pursuing and whether those programs are really worth any sort of money or value in the marketplace. Now, there's been research by groups like the Foundation for Research and Equal Opportunity that show that many programs with names like area studies or ethnic studies degrees produce a negative return on investment in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. That means going to those programs never actually pays off, despite the hundreds of thousands of dollars in student loans you might take out to get those degrees. One of the consequences of activism on campus for years is that administrators will often create niche programs like these as a, as a way to pacify student activists. For example, they may create a Pacific Islander Studies program or a Women and Gender Studies program. They might pour millions of dollars into it, hire professors, and then five people graduate with the degree. Now, there's nothing wrong with an interest in a particular culture or a language, but first you should think about what can you do in the marketplace with that degree? For example, it may be more worthwhile to get a degree in education or finance or marketing and then get a minor in a ethnic studies degree or Chicano studies or Pacific Islander studies. Those degrees alone really don't provide any value according to all of the data that we have available. As the country debates student loans and student loan bailouts, I think it's really important that we discuss are all degrees worth it? And the answer is no, all degrees are not worth it. And particularly ethnic studies and women and gender studies, really most degrees with studies at the end are probably not worth anything on their own. 